What's up you guys? So today we are going to be talking about the Reebok Nano 9. Now I want to make it clear today is going to be more of a first impressions video than a full review. I've noticed recently in my last couple reviews that I really wasn't able to put the shoe through its paces enough for it to be like a full review. And I want to make sure that these videos, you know, I'm able to be as concise and, and give you guys as much information as possible. And so I've only had these shoes for a couple days now and I've done a couple workouts in them. And I feel like I have a, a general understanding of them. But again, this is not the full review, just my first impressions after wearing them for a couple days. So if you've watched any of my reviews in the past couple years, for me, the Nano 8, so the shoe that came out before this one was pretty much what I I would uh, compare other shoes to mainly because I, I really felt like the Nano 8 did a great job of combining like flexibility with stability and I feel like with CrossFit shoes that's kind of the most important thing you want it to be stable for when you are lifting heavy but you also want it to be flexible and you know nice to run in because again in CrossFit we're doing so many different things and for me that Nano 8 did that better than any other shoe that had came out before it so for me and I'm just gonna kind of spoil it so far, I feel like the Nano 9 did what the Nano 8 does, but it just does some of the things a little bit better. And that's honestly surprising to me because of how much they did change, uh, you know, as far as the looks and as far as like how they, what they put inside of the shoe. So it's definitely a, a complete redesign. You know, the 7 to the 8 was not as crazy. They definitely look very similar, but the nine looks, you know, completely different. So I was concerned when I saw how these looked. A lot of people, the biggest concern a lot of people have is, you know, with this heel, it looks like it has like a lot of padding and it's not going to be very good to lift in. But I can say for me personally, after doing a few, you know, a few heavy snatches, doing a couple workouts in these, they feel as stable if or if not more stable than the Nano 8. So if you're worried about how they look and thinking that they're going to be, you know, maybe good for running, but not good for lifting, you don't have to worry about that because they are actually very very stable shoes and so as far as flexibility is concerned they actually kept the booty design that they had in the eights they kept that here in the nines which I'm really happy with so basically you have the the outer flex weave material which is you know kind of like a hard plasticky feeling thing not something that you would want against your or against your foot and then they have the booty inside which is a little bit more comfortable more comfortable cloth that feels a lot nicer against your ankle and against your foot and then as far as the actual flex weave if you ever use the eights it was you know it was pretty flexible but it wasn't anything crazy so this is actually called flex weave stretch it says that right there on the back of the shoe and it actually is a lot more flexible like you can even like pull this this flex weave out and so it's very you can fe it feels like it forms to your foot a little bit more one of the things I was a little concerned with when I first put the shoe on my foot was that it does feel a little bit tighter than the nano 8 did now for me I really like the nano 8 because of how basically like how loose it felt because I have a, a wider foot so I was really stoked with how those felt and so when I first slid my foot into these I was like oh wow these are a little bit more narrow but they're definitely they're just a little bit more narrow in the midfoot but as far as where your toes are there is tons of room there for you to have you know full toe splay so that's good and I noticed like once I wore the shoes not even very long I could because of how this flex weave stretches so much it really wasn't an issue I wasn't at all uncomfortable in in the shoe there are definitely some shoes that when they get a little bit more narrow they like literally my foot will almost like kind of go numb I didn't have any issues like that in these shoes I wore them around all day yesterday like just walking around just to see how they felt and I didn't have any issues with like feeling like I wanted to take my shoes off or that they were they were uncomfortable or anything like that one thing I really wanted to test out was running in the nano nine so I went on a little just a mile run in the shoes and I can say that these actually feel better than the nano eights did for running so it's, it's really interesting again this is just my first impressions but it's crazy to me that again the A's for me I felt like they were fine running in they were one of the better CrossFit shoes to run in again th that's compared to other CrossFit shoes compared to running shoes it's not even close right running shoes are just so much better to run in but if you're doing a workout that has a mile run in it or something like that you will not be upset while wearing these shoes it really feels like you know when you're running your gait isn't interrupted at all a lot of times with crossfit shoes you feel like you hit your heel and then there's just like that slap uh on the on the concrete from the forefoot of your shoe this feels like it's a lot more smooth of a transition a lot more smooth of a ride again it's not the best running shoe in the world but as far as compared to other crossfit shoes that are good for running it's re it really is up there i would say the only shoe that i think is probably better to run in is the nike free metcon the first ones the second ones 
I'm not really a huge fan of, but these are great shoes to run in and I, I really feel like they do a good job in that area. As far as how the rest of the shoe fit, I didn't have any heel slippage, which I never had any issues in the eights with heel slip at all. Uh, so I didn't have any issues again with that, which is nice. I was like, you know, you want your heel to feel secure. Again, your toes have a lot of room to breathe, a lot of room to move. And then it is gonna be a little bit tighter in that mid midfoot, but it's nothing to where it feels like your foot is suffocating. Um, at least that's the impression that I got. Some of the cons that I can maybe see in the future, one, because of how flexible this this flex weave is, I think eventually maybe it could become almost too flexible, like over time it might get too stretchy. I don't really know that yet, but I could see that happening because I definitely noticed when I was doing some snatches when my foot would kind of, you know, press against the side of the, uh, like sidewall of the shoe, it felt like my, it didn't feel like my foot was gonna slide around any, or anything like that, but I don't know, say in six months, maybe that could be an issue. Another thing that is kind of nitpicky, but the laces are like really, really long. For me, it's not that big of a deal, because again, I have wide feet and wide ankles, so I need a lot of room to get my foot in there. Uh, but if you have narrow feet, like you're gonna have so much lace and I can see that being incredibly annoying. <laughs> now this is super subjective, but as far as looks are concerned, I actually really, really like how these Nanos look. They're actually my favorite looking Nano and I've never felt like I was more outside of the majority because so many of the comments are people saying that they look like dad shoes. Maybe I'm just getting old because I really, really dig the old school Vector logo coming back. I, I just really like how these shoes look and everyone at my gym was like, I really like how those look too. So maybe it's just the internet that uh, people are upset over. Uh, but you know, some people are sad that the, the old Delta isn't there anymore. I love how these shoes look. The one thing I'm not super stoked on is one it says CrossFit at the back. I just, I don't know. I just, I, I don't feel like the nanos need to say CrossFit anymore. And they also say CrossFit on the tongue. And then this nano sign that they have like right here at the uh, back of the heel, it just, I don't know. It just doesn't really look right to me. So all in all, I think that they are a great CrossFit shoe again. This is just my first impressions. I don't know that much about them. I think that if you're somebody that is coming from an N08 and you want to try something new, uh, you will be happy with these shoes. I think that they they are kind of like the best of both worlds. They they really take everything that the Nano 8 had and just add to it. You know, more more stability, more flexibility, more cushion for when you're running. A lot of things that they just added and it didn't feel like they put too many things in and they just overloaded the shoe. It really feels like they they made a very balanced shoe. But again, one, I am not. At all sponsored by Reebok. I, I bought these shoes full retail price. I am not at all getting paid for this review. I just, I love CrossFit shoes and I was excited for when these came out. If you are looking at a pair of Nano 8s or a pair of Nano 9s and you're worried about price at all, I mean, the Nano 8s are gonna be coming out super cheap, I'm sure, very soon. Uh, so if you're worried about saving money, then I would just go for the 8s because those are absolutely amazing CrossFit shoes. But if you do want the new model and you were worried about, you know, how they felt, if they did a good job, because a lot of times with Reebok, they'll make a good shoe and then right after it, they make a terrible shoe. Uh, but this time, I really feel like they, they really knocked it out of the park and I'm excited to train in these a lot more and see how much I really like them in the future. Thank you so much for watching the first impressions video. I do wanna say for those of you guys that might be curious as to why I haven't posted much on this channel or at all in a while, because I was training for the marathon, just all of my extra thoughts and attention was going to training and I really didn't have the time or mainly just the willpower and the, the mental capacity to, to really run two channels and train for the marathon and put other videos on my other channel. So it was just a lot. I'm glad to be back. I genuinely love this channel and I love making the videos that I make on here uh, but you know it is what it is I have to make sure that I am doing everything I can to be as smart as possible but yeah I'm going to be coming back thank you guys so much for watching the video and I'll see you next time